All right, guys, this is the new Publix. This is literally right across the street from Brightwood Pavilion, um, right where we just were. So walking distance to the clubhouse to here and or you could take your golf cart your bike whatever you want to do but that's the community that's the main entrance right there this is the barbara harvey elementary school this is an a-rated elementary school where my son goes awesome school we volunteer at all the things that they need done for the kids um, they had a bonfire over there last week a big party uh, for all the families came over and there was a big fundraising event they do a lot of stuff like that they have trunk or treat, um, you name it. All, all the festivities for all the holidays and all the different little fundraisers that you can think of in an awesome elementary school, it's great. And I, I know a lot of the teachers and they're awesome. Uh, this, but this is right where the Publix is gonna be. Right behind me is the North River Ranch. Uh, townhomes, those are almost sold out. There's only 10 of them left. They start around $350,000 and you're gonna have your Publix here and there's gonna be about five other stores in this parking lot. I believe the entrance is gonna be off of Fort Hammer Road right there, right where Riverfield is and we're gonna head there next. Now we're at the Riverfield Veranda, guys. Um, this is where we have another, this is your second swimming pool. Um, and they have a little like, kind of like a covered chill spot area. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I just wanted to show you here. These are, this is basically what they have planned in this community. And I've kind of already gone over a lot of this stuff. But the main thing that I wanted to show you, you know, is basically just going over the location, um, how many acres, 2,600 acres. Um, and then I wanted to really show you this. So this is the map, guys. So this is where um, you, everything's gonna be. So this is your Ford Hammer Road. Okay, this is, it's constructed to a right about here right now. And they're just getting ready to finish this road. It's gonna go all the way up to Buckeye. And then it's gonna come all the way out, all the way to 301. And there's gonna be more multifamily and commercial shopping areas and restaurants here as well and then this is where the middle school is going to be um, there's going to be the future amenity center this is going to be the camp creek that big 12 acre um, amenity center that i was already explaining to you that i'll show you where it's going to be in a minute and also brightwood which is where we just were so that new one is called wild leaf and then this is where your hospital is going to be this is where the the uh, as you can see right here it's called the HCA Healthcare Center, and that's literally going to be right in here. And then you're gonna have your village center here, which you can have all shops and restaurants and things of that nature. And then we're right here in Riverfield. So we've come across Moccasin Wallow, and we are running, ran down Fort Hammer. This is where the State College of Florida is gonna be. Um, you have commu Florida Community High School, which is right there around the corner and walking distance from here. And then they're putting a brand new park, or actually they just released that information, which is gonna be right next to the college. And that's gonna have splash pads, a little water chill area. It's gonna have, I believe, pickleball, uh, like a little wilderness area. I think maybe a dog park. I'm not sure, I gotta get all the details on that. They just released the information two days ago. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you the veranda right now. The Barbara Harvey Elementary School was right there where we just were. This is where the Publix is going to be. Like I said, we're right here. And let me show you the veranda. Field Veranda. This is the second swimming pool that they opened in the community. Uh, this is for use of all residents in the, in the whole North River Ranch. Everyone has access to it, but you know it's kind of designated for the Riverfield uh, customers and, and residents here. This is a gated community side. Um, they have their little veranda right here where you can come on chill and uh, hang out. It's more covered with fans and shadier and cooler 
which they don't have over at the Brightwood, but they will have at Camp Creek the new facility as well. Um, so you have your cabanas, you have a pretty nice sized swimming pool, lots of lounge chairs, bathrooms, little little area if you want to have a party. There's a TV and there's more bikes that you can um, rent, uh, take out on the app right outside of the gate here. And as well as uh, the, the trail continues right in the back here and it goes all around this whole section of Riverfield, right, and it's gonna go right into the village center. We're here at the David Weekly model right now. Uh, we're gonna go inside and David Weekly is by far one of the best builders in here as well. I would say all the builders in here are very good, um, but David Weekly has a very interesting approach to their design and pricing and things that features that they offer that are a little bit different from everybody else. So. All right guys, we're in the David Weekly model home. Um, this one very nicely Upgraded, obviously it has the vinyl plank laminate floorings. This is the drop zone coming in off of the three car garage going into the um, laundry room. And then it opens up over to here into your den area, all the way through the long open hallway with the extra bedroom off to the left, uh, off to the right, and then into a nice big kitchen island. This is an oversized island as you would see in most standard models. Um, it's, it's, you know, most of the builders in here have a, have a much smaller island. This is it's a nice big island. The only way I've seen bigger is probably Park Square and uh, West Bay, but this is, this fits perfectly. It uh, comes with standard quartz countertops. Um, you have your living space here. And then it also goes out into your lanai, which is covered. Um, this one, they have the special upgraded with the fire pit. This is not a standard feature, but it is an, it's available as an upgrade. Uh, this is a water lot. Also, I know this David Weekly, they, they are offering massive move-in incentives right now, now until March 31st. Um, but I would like you to contact me in the number below, and that's 941-879-4730. You can call or text me anytime, and I'll give you the rundown of all the current incentives. Um, right now, they have about 80 lots left in the community in this phase, and I believe they have a plan to purchase more after those are sold out. So um, they offer anywhere from a two to five bedrooms and two, three, and I think I think maybe, yeah, three, three bathrooms, and that's all the way from 1,700 square feet to all the way over 3,000 square, just over 3,000 square feet in living space that they offer. As you can see, they're very, very put together. You know, they have a real nice package, a nice layout. It's very practical. It works for a lot of people. It's very popular in this community, and they sell a lot of inventory. Here's your master suite. Right here, as you can see, you have plenty of wall space and it slides right into the walk-in closet. Actually, it's a, um, the walk-in closet is around, but there's also a little linen closet here. And then you have your commode, your walk-in shower, and then double vanity, and then a wrap-around walk-in closet that goes very deep right here. So plenty of room for the his and hers and very nicely laid out because you have your shoe racks, you have your, you know, his area I would say is here and then her area would be back here. This would be my closet right here. So this would be my little space. That would be hers. And actually, actually I have these shoes, I think. I think I have these same shoes in my closet. All right, guys, follow me. We're gonna go over to the dog park and the new walking trail that they just opened up. All right guys, so right now on the map, we are right here, right next to the dog park, right in this entrance where the, you're gonna go right into the future village. We're actually like right 
here. And this is gonna be the Future Village Center and the HCA Healthcare Park. So you're gonna have a hospital here. I believe there's gonna be, I think they said 50 hospital rooms. Uh, there's gonna be an emergency room. And then there's gonna be a bunch of specialists like cardiovascular, neurologic, neurologic and um, things of that nature, you know, uh, gastro. And right here is, so that's, that's Moccasin Wallow. Fort Hammer is right there. So they join at the intersection. Then you have the Publix, which is over there. This is gonna be all your whole village center right here. And then the hospital and um, medical center is gonna be back in this area here, going, backing up to 301, right at the corner. It's gonna go all the way down. Um, which is a, probably about a half a mile's worth of uh, distance from here to 301, I would say. So right now they're getting ready to lay down all the piping and all the groundwork. They're also widening the road. They're widening Moccasin Wall. They're making it a four lane instead of two lanes. And they're getting ready to clear all this ground and all these trees. And then they're gonna start on the whole village center and hospital. All right, this is Paw Park, guys. This is my little boy, Spike. He's a four month old <laughs> American pit bull. And um, so they're just getting ready to open this. They're just putting in the benches now. And um, they have a, this is a small dog area. And then they also have a big dog area here. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if they're gonna add some more like features, like play type of, uh, you know facilities and little things like that but I know they put the benches in I'm sure there'll be bag stations I know there's a water fountain right on the outside you can get water and then there's a bunch of balls just hanging out they got they got balls and frisbees and they're just everywhere they're all over the place so you can come bring your dogs here to get to know each other let them off the leash get some exercise bond with them so you're not you know you if you may or may not have a fence at your house yet um, this is a great place to let them get loose and, and get their exercise in.